All photos are black and white historic photos unless otherwise stated. National Park Service logo, Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Experience your America. Mount Rushmore framed by trees comes into focus. Text reads, Mount Rushmore in stone and story, an involving idea. Mount Rushmore National Memorial entrance sign with trees and background. What did it take to carve the memorial? Money, dynamite, tools, workers, all of these things were necessary. Clouds roll over memorial covered with snow. But beyond that, it took something more. Such an endeavor required perseverance, dedication, trial and error, a visionary, and perhaps even a dose of good luck as well. Memorial with Washington, Jefferson, and Roosevelt. The vision for Mount Rushmore went through many iterations before the mountain became the masterpiece visitors see today. Time-lapse visitors in front of Memorial. The first proposed idea included a different location, different figures, and a different sculptor. Portrait Robinson in suit with glasses. State historian Doan Robinson first conceived of the idea to carve gigantic figures in an area of the Black Hills known as the Needles. Tall skinny rock formations jut upward into the sky. He envisioned important figures of the West, Photo Buffalo Bill, such as Buffalo Man Bill, with feather and long Red hair. Cloud, Lewis and Clark, and Sacagawea. Painting with two men and a woman pointing in distance. He originally contacted artist Laredo Taft, Portrait Taft, but Taft was too ill to travel to South Dakota. Telegram from Robinson to Borglum. Later, Robinson wrote to Gutsum Borglum, who replied with great interest, and so a sculptor was found. Telegram of Borglum's reply. Portrait Borglum with mustache and hat. Borglum brought with him his own ideas. He had no desire to carve heroes of the West. Instead, he imagined great visionaries of national importance. Sketch, two figures next to each An other. early sketch consisted of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln carved in granite. Photo of Horseshoe Cove with needles. In September 1924, Borglum and his scouting party set out to explore the proposed area. Photo labeled through the needles. However, upon seeing the needles, he concluded that the granite was ill-suited for carving, needles being name. poorly proportioned and too weathered. Photo of seven people with horses from the scouting party in 1925. Undeterred, he returned on another scouting expedition the following year. Photo Borglum, his son, and Theodore Schumacher camped at the base of Mount Rushmore. On August 17, 1925, Borglum, his son, and six others first ascended the side of Mount Rushmore. They did so in a pyramid fashion. Photo first ascent, three people climbing up steep slope. Borglum reflected in his journal. Woods with sun. The trip was wonderful, full every moment of the most dramatic of scenery and hazard to horse and rider. The shoulder of Rushmore is far and away the best that I have Newspaper seen. clippings titles read, Borglum picks site memorial and Rushmore is suitable every way. And so he set out to carve a memorial to the country he loved. Memorial with trees and foreground. But the road from inception to completion was fraught with challenges. One of the problems that persisted throughout the carving period was the lack of money. Photos carving at various stages. Borglum originally believed that carving would cost about 400000 and take four years to complete. History, of course, reveals the reality as it cost nearly a million dollars and 14 years of hard work before the project ended in 1941. Memorial Today. Photos Coolidge of dedication in 1927. As luck would have it, President Calvin Coolidge vacationed in the Black Hills in the summer of 1927. Coolidge took an interest in the Mount Rushmore project and agreed to dedicate the mountain in August of that year. His endorsement helped Borglum to raise critical funds. Slow zoom in on Memorial from distance. In all, private businesses and individuals donated $153,992.32, while the remaining $836,000 came from federal funding. Photo carving process with scaffolding. Aside from financial difficulty, there were the challenges of physical carving. There were no pre-established guidelines for carving on such a large scale. Model of Stone Mountain with three mounted figures. Fortunately, Borglum's previous work at Stone Mountain although it ended in hostility and his dismissal from the project, taught him important lessons that were critical to the success of Mount Rushmore. Photo Mountain Before Carving And then there was the challenge of the mountain, a force as unmovable and unflappable as Borglum Photo Borglum himself. was studio model with Jefferson Washington Borglum and Lincoln was in that forced order. to alter his scale model nine times during the carving to adjust for conditions of the rock. Photo model with Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln in that order. The largest change was the entire repositioning of Jefferson. Photo memorial with Jefferson partially carved on left. Photo memorial with Jefferson partially carved Finances, on right. Finances, carving logistics, and the mountain were just a few of the hurdles Borglum and other key figures had to overcome. Present day memorial. Had they known all the challenges that lie ahead, would they have even started? We will never know. 
But because of their dedication and perseverance, they turned an idea into reality. Feature on Washington side profile. Without their efforts, Mount Rushmore would not be the iconic memorial it is today. Memorial. Borglum, a man of vision and ambition, was never one to shy away from controversy or challenge. Portrait Borglum. He once wrote, Life is a kind of campaign. People have no idea what strength comes to one's soul and spirit through a good fight. Text on black. Royalty free music and new beginning. B-E-N-S-O-U-N-D dot com.